My name is Heather Zarka. I'm the president and owner of Bison Archaeological Consulting Services Incorporated. We are a cultural resource management firm, uh, which means we basically we're archaeologists. We uh, go out and do surveys prior to construction. We work for um, a diverse m number of industries, uh, oil, the oil industry, um, municipalities, uh, communications companies. I got into this uh, industry of archaeology kind of in a roundabout way. I've always wanted to be an archaeologist. I just didn't know it until after I'd gone through my first career, which was uh, uh, business. I have a, a bachelor's in business administration, and I was working for the Department of Corrections as a, an accountant and loved the people, hated the job. and. Uh, decided nothing was tying me down, so I went back to school to go uh, for a second bachelor's in archaeology until my um, advisors told me that you're limited in what you can do with the bachelor's and encouraged me to go just to go for my master's, which I did, and I completed in 2006. In 2004, um, I began working for Briscoe Consulting Services in, uh, LLC and uh, quickly became kind of the, the right-hand person there. Um, worked for the company for seven years, and then myself and James Briscoe became business partners for two years. And then in 2011, um, I bought out his half of the company. Uh, he decided to retire. I, I really, all, my, all of my work is in the Southwest. Um, and as you notice, we are not in Southwest United States, we are in Oklahoma. And uh, I was determined once I finished my master's to go get a job in the Southwest and just be a shovel bum. But then Jim came in and offered me a job while I was working at the Oklahoma Archaeological Survey. And I didn't turn him down and then he convinced me to stay uh, by letting, you know, encouraging me to um, you know, become more involved with his company. Cultural resource management is broken down into basically three phases. Uh, phase one survey is just a pedestrian survey where you go out and uh, inspect an area, do a lot of shovel testing, um, and uh, make a report uh, of your findings. And then the phase two survey is a site testing. If you find a prehistoric or historic site, and um, you go in and do more extensive, ex uh, not excavation, but one by one units to, um, to determine whether the site is eligible for the National Register of Historic Places. And then a phase three is um, a full-blown excavation of the site. Well, after, after I became full owner, um, you know, Jim had made the, comp the running the company look so easy, but I found out it definitely was not that easy. Um, I'm an archaeologist, and although I have a business degree, I am in no means a business person. I was an accountant, which is much different than running a business. At the time that I took it over, I, r I wanted you know, I wanted to take it in a different direction um, to, to grow the company. We'd been around the same size for quite some time. And, you know, I wanted to grow and expand, um, get into different industries. I have five full-time uh, employees here at the BDC. And then I also have several subcontractors uh, that I use as needed. Uh, one, one of our goals right now is to uh, have an architectural historian, which is an offshoot of what we do, the CRM umbrella, and uh, that would expand our capabilities and also um, uh, GIS technology is big in our industry and we're looking to uh, ramp that up. Um, we're in the process of, um, we have somebody that is learning GIS right now and we want to expand those capabilities and possibly even go into ground penetrating radar, which is also used widely in this industry, and uh, provide those services as well. 
archaeology is only half of the umbrella of um, the, the regulations that companies have to comply with. Um, environmental is the other side and we would like to partner or acquire a environmental branch so that we can offer the full range of services. Any undertaking that has federal involvement, so federal funding, um, federal licensing, federal involvement, uh, have a cultural resource survey performed. And so we're, we're keeping them in compliance with, with laws um, by doing our services. Also, not only do we work for a wide variety of different service industries, we also work with a lot of government agencies, the Bureau of Land Management, um, the Corps of Engineers, uh, the Bureau of Indian Affairs, uh, Forest Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, um, just all kinds of different uh, government entities and state entities um, use our services as well. We had never heard of the BDC until we were pursuing government contracting and looking for help in that avenue and we got uh, we got in contact with uh, Al Stone who brought us you know we came up here and met him and he told us about this program and we were just amazed uh, that this even existed this opportunity we do have a bay uh, it houses our library we have a very extensive library um, and along with some, some workspaces for potential growth. Um, we planned ahead and brought some of our extra furniture with us and we're hoping to fill those desks uh, in the next year or two. We're archaeologists so we also have a lot of dirt that we carry around with us so we have the back of our bay houses what we call our dirt area. That's where all the shovels and screens and um, the tools that, that we use are housed. The, the range of, of things that they can do for us here was astounding and um, being someone who is not necessarily trained in how to run a business, I needed help with that. I just felt like it was going to be kind of the relaunch and rebirth of uh, this company. We, we are hoping to get more into the government contracting uh, game which will definitely grow our workforce. My confidence in the ability to lead a company is definitely growing and getting you know getting goals set as far as 30-day goals and 60-day and 90-day goals uh, so we can monitor our progress and where we're going. As soon as we moved in our work picked up and it's just been go go go. You know it's a resource I wish more people knew about because um, you know, it, it's great to have something local since I live in Norman. It's a really short commute to come up here. Um, and, you know, it, it's great having something basically in your backyard.